All right, race fans. We're heading to Mark Twain Lake. Saturday morning. We're gonna see if we can go find some bass real quick. I got the Skeeter behind me, ready to rock and roll. Let's go catch some bass. Let's throw my favorite summertime bait, a big worm. I like to get my boat over in here where it drops off. You know, I'm in 55 foot of water and I'll throw it across there and I'll drag her. And when it drops, sometimes you get bit. Might be too early for out here, but I'm gonna try it. For the big fish anyway. I mean, I got bit last weekend out on the main lake points, but uh, you know, they were smaller fish. See if these bigger females have moved out here yet. Like I said, lake's up. Uh, let us say it was 618, 606 is normal, it's up 12 foot right now. The guy's got a bank pole right there going under. It's a bobbin. <laughs> Maybe he'll come and check it while we're here and we'll see what's on the other end of it. Crank my live scope up. We got a bank pole here. I'm not gonna check it. I don't I'm not that kind of guy, but we're gonna scan this. I wanna see what if we can see anything on the live scope. There it is, right there. Right there, swimming around on that bank pole, right there. Right there. See it? That's pretty awesome, right there. That's pretty good catfish, right there. Put it right on his head there. That's a, oh, that's not a good fish. <laughs> Dropped it right on his head. This fish got some weird color to him. Look at that black tail. Huh, kind of weird. Haven't seen that much before. Boy, he felt like a better fish. Looked like a better fish on the screen. Got him on that one. I got that one. I got that crappie. I got him. <laughs> Can't catch any bass on this lake, but I guess I'll just start crappie fishing. Ooh, he ate that one. Nice crappie right there. Boom. Let's fill the live well up, see if we can get some pictures later. I end up. He was sitting under at the bottom of that tree and then he moved up.
There's a keeper right there. Yeah, there's a keeper right there. Nice two pound fish. Right there on the chatterbait. Bought that on the Mark Twain Lure Company. Bladed jig, half ounce, black, purple, and blue. Can't beat it. We're gonna throw him back in the water and try to go get another one. Let's put him back in. There he goes. You know that last fish I caught was was on that secondary right here. We're in the back of a pocket. There's a secondary. There's a secondary. There's a secondary. So you know we got all these secondary points in here um, coming out of this. So these fish that were back here, we're gonna start. They're gonna start moving out to the main lake. That secondary's got wind on it too, so that makes it even better. Well, you know with the moving bait, so. You know, with that wind blowing on that secondary right there, and then you got that bush in the water that's been there uh, probably two or three days now. The lake's up 12 foot, so you now that fish moved in there and was sitting on it. And uh, run this uh, Mark Twain Lake Lure Company bladed jig through their half ounce. Got a swim bait, paddle tail swim bait on the end, chartreuse tails. All right, we're back to crappie fishing. Another crappie. Let me get us a mess for the freezer. Good fish right there. I'm gonna go down to him and see if he'll bite it. There's one right there, got him. Yep, got him right there, boom. Told you he was down there. That's a nice crappie. I was really wanting a bass fish today, but man, when these crappies bite, keep sitting right on that tree. Right there, that's number three. Might get us a mess of crappie. Yet today. The weight ounce peel hit. Jig head and thumper jigs, two inch muddy water, black and chartreuse. I was gonna go hit this bank over here with the chatterbait, and I still will, but this tree had a couple fish on it. I'm just gonna drop down and see if I can. There's another good one or two. There's a bigger fish down there at about 18 foot. If I can get through these little fish. Can't find my jig. Lift it up right there, come on. Got him, right there. God dang. I can get him up here. There we go. That was a rodeo. Wow. <laughs> Fun stuff though, right there. 
post-spawn crappie. Let me get him in a live well. There he is right there. Perfect. Well, I'm trying to get used to these, uh, these little Bano reels. And uh, you gotta get the drag set just right. There's a couple more down there still. That's what two good ones off this tree and one one pretty one decent eater. If I can get through those little fish. There's some little fish right there at the top. And then bigger fish are right down in here at about 18 to 20 foot. I just gotta get through them. That's a good one right there. Boom, right there. Decent ones are biting today. I got it. Tell you what. He ate that thumper pill head right there. He ate it. Post spawn crappie. Good ears. But he took that pill head and most of them today are just eating it. So there's another one. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this little video. Wasn't much, a few crappie, one keeper bass. And, uh, but we had a good day, had a fun day. Uh, got on the water about 6.30 this morning, got off about noon. It was a zoo, boats everywhere. Plus I'm fishing a bass tournament, then I'm gonna be on there all day. But uh, anyway, you know, we got uh, our next Joe Bass tournament on the 27th there at Mark Twain Lake. And uh, the day before on the 26th, there's the 154 Marines customer appreciation tournament. So if you guys are in the mood to fish uh, another uh, buddy bass tournament, you know, jump into that 154 tournament. It's $110 a team. I think take off at six, weigh in 230. Uh, so, I'll be a fun time. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching Strike 3 Fishing. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and we'll see you on the next episode. Later.